Hello everybody and welcome back. We're going to continue our study of functions in JavaScript. So first off, what are functions? Basically, functions are variables that store code so that we can use it later. The way that this works is that you create a function, it was called declaring the function, so that you can later then refer to that function and call it later. So it's like code chunks that you can call at a later time. So to give you an example of this and kind of start illustrating why we care, we can just declare a function. So function, we'll call this my func, and there is the syntax right there. Function, you give it a name, and actually I'm going to capitalize this, make it camel case. Function my func, and then you have these two parentheses, and you uh, this is where your arguments will go, your parameters when we get there, and then you have the body of your function within curly braces. So function my func, open and close parentheses open and close braces. So let's put in here, let's just um, console.log this is my function. And you'll notice I hit enter and it didn't console log anything. It, nothing came out because all we did was we declared the function we haven't called it. In order to call it, you just put its name, open and close parentheses, enter, and then we get that code run, this code run. So whatever we put in here is now run. So remember, functions are just variables that store code. It's the easiest way to think about them. So we now have a variable myfunc, and then whenever we refer to this, if we just call myfunc without the parentheses, it'll return that function. So this is just a variable name, and the, what it's storing is a function. This function is just this code in here. So why, why even use functions? Why don't I just type out console.log, this is my function, or whatever it is that I want to do? One of the main purposes to have functions is to make your code dry. Make sure you are not repeating yourself. So to give you an example, um, let's console.log a few things. Dot .log. Um, what are we going to console.log? As the FEC deadline for 2019 approaches, I am once again asking for your financial support. I'm sure you've all seen that a few billion times lately. So if I wanted to, I could sit there and type that out every time that a video on YouTube plays and then Bernie will come on and he'll say these things. Instead, I could write a function to do that for me. So I could say um, function Bernie console.log. I'm just going to copy it from up here, actually. And then... Oops, I need to go to a second line. So function of Bernie equals that, and then do this one as well. So now, instead of having to write that out every time, I can just call Bernie, and it'll do it for me. And I can do that over and over and over again with just this little bit. So you see that I just had to write the code one time, and now I can call it anytime I want to. And that's the basics of functions in JavaScript or in any other programming language. Is basically you just write some code and then call it later. Call it as many times as you want, as often as you want. It allows you to just call it later quickly and easily. Here's the syntax, the word function, followed by the name of your function, and then two parentheses, and then you have your code within curly brackets. And this code can be as long or as short as you want. It does not matter. And then when you call it, you simply call it with the name, open and close, parentheses. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.